We're going to do a quick walk around the Log Max here, show you the million grease points on it. Got top knife right here. Got the arm cylinder, pivot there, pivot there. Got the arm pin right there. Got the bottom knife cylinder, grease point there, there, another one there. Got the tilt cylinder there. And a grease point there. And then another one there. Got the same thing, another arm over here with the cylinder with two grease points and the pin. And then you got knife, knife zerks here. There's the grease zerk for the arm cylinder. And then you got grease zerks in this little hole here for the cylinders that run the, the main knives. And then there's another one right behind this pin back up in here that you gotta grease. There's zerks on the cylinder eyes for the top saw bar and the bus saw bar down there. There's grease zerks factory on both sides of this measuring wheel on the pin. Mine has since been line board and bearings installed so doesn't require grease anymore. Those bushings have to be replaced every thousand hours. They wear out pretty fast. The measuring wheel lasts, oh, I don't know, maybe 2,000 hours or something. But you gotta calibrate it because it loses diameter. This thing comes out and rides on the tree and it's what measures your length. There's an accumulator on it so it holds hydraulic pressure. This up here is your AFC adjustment. There's a floating knife sensor up underneath this. And like I was saying earlier, it's uh, tighten it to loosen the head or loosen the bolt to tighten the head. And then you can adjust it on the newer computers also. So, and then these knife inserts, they have to be done about every 1,500, 2,000 hours, depending on how, how uh, tight you run the head. And I use an electric grinder to grind out the inside of the knives like this. Most of my sharpening is done on the inside of the knives. And then I'll just touch up the outsides to get them real sharp. And I do that on, on all the knives. That top knife there, floating knife, and these upper grab arms, and the lower knife. So maybe that'll help some greenhorn out. Anyway, you guys have a good day. A few moments later couple more grease points I miss telling you guys about there's zerks right there and that little hole there for the cylinders for the knife on both sides the knives need to be open to grease them there's also zerks on that dog bone and a zerk on the other side of this dog bone got two zerks on your rotator one down there one over here. Got a couple of zerks on this little swivel for your felling link. Got three zerks for your jib boom there. Got a couple of zerks behind in that little hole there and underneath the bottom of it there's a little hydraulic cylinder in there that attaches to the floating knife. The access hole for for this cylinder right here for the top of it 
is right here in the bus saw shroud and then you got to go through it there's another hole right there and then of course you got your your rotex bearing there and the bottom of your main boom cylinders there's also an access plate back up in kind of behind this left hand cylinder that you unbolt and it greases the uh, the Rotex gears. This just does the bearing here on the outside. So you gotta actually pull a plate or drill that plate and put a zerk on it to grease the Rotex gears. And then you got a bank of uh, grease zerks up there at the base of the main boom. I think there's five of them that do all the main boom. So yeah, no problem. You just grease them 35 zerks every day and you ain't gonna be squeaking. <laughs>